In this video, I'm going to show you how to add attachments and set email fields during a mail merge. This macro will actually work anytime you send a message as long as the subject matches the subject in the if statement. It's not limited just to mail merges. First, go to File, Options, Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, Macro Settings, and make sure that Enable All Macros is selected. Press Alt F11 on your keyboard to open the Visual Basic Editor and expand the screens until you see this Outlook session and select it. Paste the macro from the web page in this Outlook session. This line tells Outlook that you want to set this variable to be 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. This can be changed to any date or time. Remove any fields that you don't want to use. You'll need to change the file path to the correct file path for your attachment. As long as it has these words in the subject, the message won't be sent And see, we have the attachment added, and we have a deferred date set for tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. This will also work with capital letters. It's not case sensitive. We'll delete these two and test it with a mail merge. Going to go to Mail Merge. We want to do All Contacts in Current View to a new email message, and the subject line is We enter the merge fields we want to use. And then we'll click Finish and Merge. We go back into Outlook, the Outbox, and you'll see that we have all three are there. They're deferred and they have the attachments.